And look who's in second, William Sawalich. The 28 and the 18. Imagine that. That's how it all started. They found each other once again. Brent Cruz is fighting back. See him battling there, gets back to fourth place. How about Gio up in second now, the highest position he's been in this race in that 20 car? Absolutely, best he has been. But Connor Mozak, that 28, he's got damage on the right side, but it's not slowing him down. Hearing that the restart might be under review here, Jamie. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Looked like Brent Cruz really slowed down a little bit at the very end and then took off. Brent Cruz on the right side. I kind think of stacked up the field a little bit. Yeah, the leader needs to get to that line. It's a restart line, not a restart zone here in the Arkham Menard series. And they they stick pretty close to the leader has to get to that line first. They are posting the 28 Connor Mozak for jumping the restart. Such a fine line here in the Arkham Menard series. Actually a tougher and stricter rule than we see in the Cup Series that the second place car cannot beat the leader to the line. And that's such a tough line to walk because you want to have a good restart and you're milliseconds away from either jumping it or having a terrible restart. Pass through penalty for this 28 though. It's going to cost him this race win. Connor Mozak battling to the very end. Two laps to go. They will tell him he must come down pit lane to serve his penalty for jumping the restart. That will give the lead to William Sawalich in the 18. Yeah, the angle we had looked almost like a dead heat to that line, but obviously the ARC officials have, have reviewed that and they felt like that Mozak got to the line before Brent Cruz. They don't have time to dispute it right here is pit road and he's gonna have to hit it. We're coming to one to go, would not have time to pit after this. So we're gonna see him turn off and go to pit road here or else he'll have a 30 second penalty added on to the end of this race. Yeah, I was he, gonna he say, skipped it, he did not go to pit road. Yeah, I was gonna say that he, he knows if he stops and has a 30 second penalty, he's gonna finish outside the top 10. So he's why not gonna take the checker flag take, anyways. Take the checker flag and then we can argue about it later. More than likely they'll take it away from me. Let's take another look now. Watch for that line. There's right there. And I don't know, Phil. Yeah. I don't know if he got there first. That's a tough, tough call to make right there. Meanwhile, it's the final lap of this Arkham and Art Series race from Mid-Ohio. Connor Mozak is shown as the leader. He did not pit to serve his penalty. William Sawalich, Brent Cruz behind him, Gio Ruggiero, Thomas Annunziata back in fifth, and Marco Andretti in sixth. Jamie, this might be a first for you. How do you call this checker flag at the end? That's I'm a good sure question. Never... We're going to see what happens. <laughs> They're going to fly it. We'll see the 28 cross, but he will not be the race winner. I don't think they're, they're not going to give him the checker flag when he gets there. He will be still be shown the white flag and the 18 will get if, if the 18 holds on to the lead over Brent Cruz, then he will get the checker flag. Oh, heartbreak. I just can't imagine. And Brent Cruz is pushing for all he has. He knows that's the race win. Just a couple feet in front of him there with the 18 car of William Sawalich. What a hard fight for him. Heart Under the checkered flag. Wild turn of events. You're looking at the race leader technically, the 18 of William Sawalich. There is the checkered flag. You saw the black flag for Connor Mozak. He will be penalized. The 18 is your winner. Brent Cruz brings it home second. Gio Ruggiero in third. What a turn of events at the end of that race. Wow. There's going to be a lot of conversations at the hauler after this one, just looking at film, wanting to see proof. But, you know, staying on the track was probably the right move for the 28 group to at least have a fight, have an argument about this. Uh, but for William Sawalich, how about the redemption after finishing second two weeks in a row, losing that race at Sonoma, then Iowa to that 28 car? He says, hey, I finished second to you today, but I get the checker flag and the trophy. Remember, he got pushed all the way back to sixth with a couple cautions to go and fought his way back up to the front and was in position to take advantage of, uh, of, the, of the battling up front. Well, this is a great example of every position matters. It doesn't matter how far the leaders checked out. You've got to fight for every spot on that racetrack, every lap, and William Sawalich did that. It's going to get him a race win here. The 17-year-old William Sawalich will make the victory lap around. We will hear from him after this. Stay with us. From